This week, we are partnered with HelloFresh and Rocket Money. More on them after the reaction. What is going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? I am joined by Roxy Stryer because we are going to embark on a journey. We are going to park our car at the Has Been Hotel today. We don't know anything about it other than some basic facts. It was once a pilot on YouTube by the YouTube channel VivZ Pop and now it is a huge Amazon show. Man, the requests have been coming in. And Roxy's always like, I'm the TV girl. Everyone knows me as the TV girl. I don't know what that means, but I said, all right, we're going to do this TV show together. We're going to start with the pilot and make our way through episodes one through whatever. Roxy, what were you going to say? You do know what it means. I watched 115 shows last year and the previous year. I watch more TV than anybody I know. I, that is my claim to fame. Does that make me the greatest TV watcher of all time? Quite possibly. And I... I'm excited for this one. You told me about it. Since you said it, everybody I've seen has been talking about it. Mm. Kind of looks like Harley Quinn, the animated series to me, which I love. Excited to see what we're getting into because we are not has-beens. Yeah, here's like a comedy musical. I just got the has-been thing. Yeah, has-been. We're not has-beens. We're currents. Leave a like on this video. <laughs> also, be sure to subscribe and click that bell. We got a lot of episodes to go through. I'm reserving the energy. And then by the time we get to the final one, it's going to be wild here. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you to me or Prepper for editing down these highlights. I don't know <laughs> which one's doing it. Full-length reaction watch along where you sync with your own copy of Has Been Hotel. It's available for our Super Sex Rejects on our Patreon page, with this being the first episode. And it's not just on YouTube. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's available for everyone. Link in the description box through the full watch along. It's pilot, not the first episode. Pilot, yeah. Two different things. <laughs> you told me. Okay, it's going to be rough. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, fun. At the end of the rainbow, there's happiness. To find it, how often I've tried. Oh, how cool. Very princess. Just a wild goose chase. Sleeping beauty like. Satanic. Aww, that's sad what she's saying. I think I'm gonna love this. I wonder if the world's to blame. I wonder if it could be me. I just knew. What a meaningful song already. That's why I feel like it's Harley Quinn like. F you heaven. <laughs> this pilot must have come out before Harley Quinn. The yeah, I think so, series. yeah. Did it say welcome to hell? Yeah. Welcome to hell? Is this actual hell? I always look like I love how it feels like an old film. There's a classicness to it. Porn studios. <laughs> what happened to Franklin? Uh, I must have died. Oh my goodness. Rosie took him out. Like if Tim Burton did the Harley Quinn show. Yeah. <laughs> this feels like it's gonna be a lot more hard. The hotel is within hell itself. She must work there. Next cleanse, 365 days. Oh, I'm alive. I'm alive. Oh, God. <laughs> Thanks for the fun time. Can you stuff. die in hell? I can't let it get out. I'm offering my services to randos on the street. Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! Ooh, such an insult. <laughs> Something creative to call me, you sack of poorly packaged horse shit. Tell the missus I said hi. Schnuck him. Back him. I love how it's drawn like a kid show. <laughs> and it's got like the whip snap energy of it, too. Ooh. Angel dust, let's go. Yoink! Hey! A furious drag show! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God! My drugs! Damn it! I know the feeling. Those other cowardly sinners dare not hinder my territorial takeover. A wise decision. The power of my machines are unmatched. No other demon can compare to the likes of I. This is so inventive. Giving Dexter's laboratory <laughs> gone dark. It's like a cartoon <laughs> yeah. network element to it, yeah. Shot them with your radar. I wish he'd shoot 
me with his ray gun. This is where Humpty Dumpty went. Nothing, not a single beast in this inferno of suffering will be able to take back this empire from my constrictive grasp. It's like a no man's land. Everybody will know the name of Sir Pe Death Lord! Pardon? Who said that? What did you just say to me, you fried chicken fetuses? <laughs> Kablooey! You looking for a fight, old man? Oh, hell yeah. You wanna go, missy? Well, I'm happy to oblige! <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, I'm Katie Killjoy. <laughs> He's got an actual smoke mask. Turf war is raging on the west side between notable kingpin Serpentius and self-proclaimed spunky powerhouse Cherry Bomb. I'm trying to keep up with all the words here, it's really hard. Demons all over hell are already duking it out to gain new territory. Those two seem to really be going at it, huh? Nice. They're fighting tooth and nail for that hot spot. And I'd sure like to nail her hot spot. <laughs> uh -huh. lip, jackass Tom. Or should I say, oh, no dick. Coming up next. <laughs> the daughter of hell's own head honcho, who's here to discuss her brand new passion. Now she's like little Nikki. Let's do this. Just look at me and I'll mouth it to you. Come on, Vaggy. I know what to say. Her name's Vaggy. What if I sing a song about it? You knew I was gonna say that. Because I know you, but please don't sing. This is serious. She's got like an angel heart. Better at expressing myself and my goals through song. Yeah, what did they do to get to hell? They seem like good I mean people. she's the princess of hell though. She seems great. The highlighted <laughs> bits are the best part. Uh <laughs> it's all highlighted. Is this a drawing? Yes, that's the happy ending, see? <laughs> I don't think it's that simple. Just please follow the talking points we went over. And do not sing. You know she's gonna. She's the only one who's actually born here. She doesn't deserve to be here. I'm Charlie. Katie Killjoy. I'd say it's a pleasure to meet you, but that would be a lie. You can put that away. I don't touch the gaze. <laughs> <laughs> How's that working out for you? <laughs> Look, my time is money, so I'll keep this short. I think like this would be a sick Halloween costume. You're here because Jeffrey couldn't make it for his cannibal cooking segment. Oh, cool. Dumb. <laughs> I'm too rich and too influential to give up lying f about what some tux-wearing demon princess wants to advertise. Damn, it is a hard R. Don't get cute with me, honey, or I will fucking bury you. <laughs> it's Charlie. Whatever. Tell us about this new passion project you've been insistently pestering our news station about. <laughs> As most of you know, I was born here in hell, and growing mm -hmm. up, I always tried to see the good in everything around me. I knew it, Greg. I mean, she's a princess. It makes sense, yeah. It breaks my heart to see my people being slaughtered every year. No one is even given a chance. I can't stand idly by while the place I live is subjected to such violence. Well, they had a chance. Is she pacifistic? Isn't there a more humane way to hinder overpopulation? Perhaps we can create an alternative way to change souls through... Oh. Redemption? Oh. So that's what this project aims to achieve. You're giving people in hell hope. A hotel that rehabilitates sinners. And sends them to heaven? That is just so anti-hell. I could see that going over terribly. Especially when people have fun in hell. People like to succumb to the debauchery. She's nuts. I figure it would serve a purpose. A place to work towards redemption. Sing a song, babe. Can't go worse. <laughs> just stupid bitch. Oh, no. Every single one of you has something good deep down inside. Maybe I'm not getting through to you. Lucifer oh, no. was an angel. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I have a dream <laughs> about a wonderful, fantastic new hotel. <laughs> Happy. <laughs> It'll ring to a specific clientele. Inside of every demon is a rainbow. Inside every sinner is a shiny smile. <laughs> And then it's like Sweeney Todd vibes. Yeah, That's man. Interesting. There's a macabre humor to it. It's gothic. Mm. 
I feel like she's gonna go out a really dark path. No more screams, just puppy dog kisses and cotton candy dreams. You wanna be in heaven. Wow! Once you check in with me. So what you <laughs> great kind of way. Do you know who this actress is? No idea. It's giving like <laughs> Anna Kendrick vibes. <laughs> There's so much variety in the color scheme and like the different animation styles they keep implementing throughout. Look how gorgeous that is. I, I like these little hints of the darkness in her. That was shit. Oh. <laughs> Guys. I thought there was a 1% chance they'd like her. I know, right? I think a single denizen of hell would give two shit about becoming a better person. Just takes one. You want people to be good? Just because? What does it matter? You're there forever. Give it a shot. We have a patron already. On the other end of that, what's it matter? You're there forever. Why try? Just someone named Angel Dust. <laughs> you f***ing would, Tom. <laughs> In any case, this is not even an accomplishment. I'm sure you can get that hooker to do anything with enough booger sugar and lube. Oh, whoa. Been behaved, clean, and out of trouble for two weeks now. Me? Breaking news. Oh, no. We are receiving word that a new player has entered the ongoing turf war. Let's go to the live feed. It's going to be Angel Dust. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, indeed. It looks like the one who just joined the battle is none other than porn actor Angel Dust. God damn it. You must feel really stupid right now. <laughs> Ready? It's weird, it's so mature, but it, it's, it also feels so nostalgic in the way it's done. How does it feel to be such a total failure? <laughs> yeah, well, how does it feel that I got your pen, huh? Bitch! Whoa! Oops. <laughs> hey, thanks for the backup, Andy. <laughs> no kidding. No. I've been staying at this crappy hotel on the other side of town. Some broads are letting me stay rent free if I play nice. Conning the system. Just some broads. Problematic. It's language. like a Tommy gun. No, not mine. <laughs> These crazy bitches are no fun. Been clean for two weeks. Pot shop. <laughs> oh, harder, Daddy. Son. <laughs> <laughs> what a moment. You have no class. In war, the side remembered is the side with the most style. Like how he's an actual serpent. Is your hat, like, alive or something? Would that make your hat the top and you the bottom? Ooh. I wonder if there's, like, a human... Like, do the humans evolve into this? Are there yeah. rules? Or on Earth, do they look like this or wherever they are? I've been making these sex jokes the whole time. <laughs> And it's obvious you ain't catching on. I mean, it's just sad. How inventive with the anatomy. It's making me wonder, what is down there? <laughs> you know you're my favorite guy to party with. You know it, sugar Are you ready to finish this? That's what Mel Gibson calls that of cop. <laughs> oh, excellent stuff. I want to see your dad. But why is this girl good? Hmm, she's her best friend. Yeah, but she she's in hell and she's good. Seems that way. Eh, you win some, you lose a few hundred. <laughs> it wasn't that bad anyway. It was awful. What kind of reputation would I have if people found out I was trying to go clean? Throws out my entire persona. Your credibility? What about the hotels? Your little stunt made us look like a f***ing joke. Jeez. Jokes are funny. I made you look, uh, sad and pathetic. Super literal. Don't get your taco in a twist, baby. Was that you trying to be sexist or racist? A little bit of both. I'm gonna kill him. Too late, toots. Wait, would that make me double dead? <laughs> Where exactly do I go? To double hell? That's what you wanted to know. <laughs> Who cares if some f***s got hurt? Most of them are ugly freaks. Look around. You got a bunch of f***ing Harlequin babies down You're here. You're one to talk. <laughs> This body is flawless. This Harley is Quinn so babies. kinetic, man. There is no way anyone is going to want to stay at the hotel. 
All thanks to you and your selfish bullshit! Does that mean I don't have a free room anymore? <laughs> we don't know if things are over yet. Try to relax, Vaggy. It'll be okay. What a name. Does it mean what I think it means? Vaggy? Is that her name? Have you heard that name before? No, but what is? what do you think it means? Sounds like vagina. It kind of does sound like that, but I don't really know. It's like that combined with saggy. So. Yeah, like a saggy vagina. <laughs> Probably a good idea to get some actual food in this place. You know, to feed all the wayward souls you got in here. <laughs> she's the princess, but she's treated with like zero respect. You don't need to be respectful in hell. Well, she's not the queen. Hey, mom. Um... I know I keep calling, and uh, you must be busy. Really busy. She's so sweet. I know. I don't know if I'm going to make a difference. Cool color change. I could really use some advice, Mom. She's blue. I know, it's sad. I think Dad was right about me. Aww. I'll stop talking before this gets long. She's the only one who's so human here. Bye. Yeah, because she's not supposed to be here. Lucifer was an angel. If she, it is the devil that they're doing. It says Lilith. Yeah. So I think it's like a combination of a bunch of lures. Yeah. Did you watch the show, Lucifer? No. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> What's wrong with this guy? Hey, Not, Maggie! She, she wasn't expecting. May I speak now? You may. Alistair, pleasure to be meeting you, sweetheart. Quite a pleasure. <laughs> oh, it's like an old-time radio voice. What a performance! Why, I haven't been that entertained since the stock market crash of 1929. <laughs> so many orphans. Stop right there! I'm not gonna let you hurt anyone here, you pompous, cheesy talk show shit lord. If I wanted to hurt anyone here, I would have done so already. <laughs> so. Cool. I'm here because I want to help. To say what now? No, he's got an ulterior motive. This hotel, I want to help you run it. But. Why? <laughs> Sheer absolute boredom. That's like an anime character. The work became mundane, lacking focus, aimless. Whenever we cut to this perspective shot of him, it's sideways. I love this guy. He's such a trickster. The world is a stage, and the stage is a world of entertainment. So, does this mean that you think it's possible to rehabilitate? No, you're getting tricked. Of course not. That's wacky nonsense. Redemption. Oh, the non-existent humanity. No, 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 no. What a dichotomy. The chance given was the life they lived before. The punishment is this. I want to watch the scum of the world struggle to climb up the hill of betterment. Only to repeatedly trip and tumble down to the fire. Anarchy. Yes, indeedy. I see big things coming your way. A lot of room for character arcs. Yeah. Wait, you've never heard of him before? You've been here longer than me. Audience cipher, let's go. Decades ago, Alistair manifested in hell, seemingly overnight. Whoa! Overlords who had been dominant for centuries. That kind of raw power had never been harnessed by a mortal soul before. Ooh. Very uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Broadcast his carnage all throughout hell, just so everyone could witness his ability. How satanic. Radio demon. As lazy as that is. Many have speculated what unimaginable force enabled him to rival our world's most ancient and destructive evils. It's an entity that was birthed here. Violent monster of chaos, the likes of which we can't risk getting involved with unless we want to end up erased. I mean, he sounds like he a He looks like addition. a strawberry pimp. <laughs> Do you trust any man? Any men? <laughs> men. Charlie, listen to me. He's a deal maker. It's pure evil. He can't be redeemed. And is most likely looking for a way to destroy everything. I like how the X is over her hair and eye. <laughs> her hair has been over her eye for half the shots. <laughs> it's interesting. But the whole point of this is to give people a chance. To have faith things will be better. How can I turn someone away? I can't. It goes against everything I'm trying to do. I just love all the abnormalities to the human design structure. Everything just feels out of place. So, now, you're sketchy as f and you clearly see what I'm trying to do here as a joke. <laughs> 
on the condition that there be no trickster voodoo strings attached. So it's a deal then. Oh, I say. Wicked. I, uh, hereby order that you help with this hotel for as long as you desire. Sound fair? Hmm. Fair enough. Cool beans. It's enough for him to make trouble. Not cool beans. My oh my dear. You know you're never fully dressed without one. <laughs> Who's that right? You're never fully dressed without a smile. And what can you do, my effeminate fellow? I can suck your d Ha! No. Oh, <laughs> great editing. There's so much precision and calculation here. Like, everything feels so purposely constructed. Oh my god. <laughs> little pet. Oh, wow. Nifty! Hi, I'm Nifty. It's nice to meet you. It's been a while since I've made new friends. <laughs> Why are you all women? I didn't mean I'm here! I'm sorry if that's rude. Oh, man! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is awful! Nope, 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 <laughs> no, no! <laughs> wow, there's a lot of to deal with that. <laughs> Read them and weep, boys. Oh. oh, you're turning this to a full attraction right now. My friend, I am doing some charity work, so I took it upon myself to volunteer your services. I hope that's okay. Are you shitting me? Hmm. No, I don't think so. Be some kind of big f***ing riot just to pull me out of nowhere? <laughs> some kind of f***ing clown? Maybe. I ain't doing no charity job. Well, I figured you would be the perfect face to man the front desk of this. Perfect voices. I can make this more welcoming if you wish. Cheap boots is always welcoming. But then it would be a plastic bottle, not glass. Hey. Go f*** yourself. Only if you watch me. Oh my gosh. Welcome to the Happy Hotel. The guy's such a deviant. I lost the ability to love years ago. You'll find it. You have a dream you wish to tell. Oh my god. That's laughable, but hey kid, what the hell? <laughs> Charming demon bell. Now let's give these burning fools a place to dwell. Take it, boys. Wow, what a great neon. Inside of every demon is a lost cause. Damn, this is on YouTube? This is insanity. The most expensive YouTube pilot <laughs> ever? <laughs> like... Justin Flair and Snowy Simpleton, some proper class of style. Yes, oh. like this channel just did that. I can't believe that. And the voices are amazing. I'm down at this has been home. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> this is jarring editing. Do I know you? Oh, yes, you do. And this time I have the element of surprise. <laughs> I'm so evil. <laughs> I'm so evil. <laughs> Yes, Greg, all evil people say they're evil, you didn't know? Wow. It's like a poison ivy thing. I mean, the whole thing is kind of like an amalgamation of a bunch of horror things all in one, which weirdly creates a unique blend. Well, I'm starved. Who wants some jambalaya? Wonderful recipe for jambalaya. In fact, it nearly killed her. <laughs> you could say the kick was right out of hell. Oh, I'm on a roll. The game is set. Now. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Way to go, Vivian. Yeah. Wow, that was wild. I did get a heads up that they changed some of the voice actors. Maybe I don't know if they changed it all. I thought that was unbelievably impressive. I I had to remind myself that this was just a, a, a YouTube thing at first. I could see why it got picked up 
from just the first episode here to going, yeah, you got a show established perfectly. They did a really good job with their archetypes. The trickster comes in right when he does. Mm -hmm. The main character is like the hero, not an anti-hero. I guess she's just the hero and the leader. Yeah. We've got her best friend. Now we've got like the debaucherous gambling type. Yeah, that was really smart. No, it takes a good what if concept with your main character to go, what if your princess of hell had an angel heart? <gasps> Post credit scene. <laughs> now will you shoot me with your ray gun? Let's rewind that. Let's see what that said. What did it say? Animation is basically not so much a technical implement as like expression of spirit behind it. To see that the spirit goes into your shooting must be your overriding ambition. Honestly, that that part's a little wordy for me. <laughs> it's saying it's more about the, like the, the expression than the technical aspect. Yeah, yeah okay. those are the words that are there. And uh, you picked up on it. You did it yourself. Look at you. You're an A plus student right oh, there. Oh, Greg. Body rain. Rain, rain, Renegar? I don't know. I stopped trying to pronounce it because I didn't want to do anything bad. <laughs> I put a little bit of an E emphasis on where the second I is. <laughs> to I just hide said, rain. where I heard my mouth was going. <laughs> Thank you to America's number one meal kit, HelloFresh, for partnering with us. It's always great to partner with people whose services you actually use because as someone like me who's always juggling a packed schedule between filming and editing, finding time for healthy eating can be a challenge. That's where HelloFresh has been a game changer for my life. With HelloFresh, I get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and delicious recipes delivered right to my doorstep so I don't have to step outside. It's revolutionized my home cooking experience, making it not just easy, but super enjoyable and affordable. Keyword, I recently tried their delicious barbecue pineapple flatbreads and their zucchini pomodoro penne bake. Both were mouthwateringly delicious and fit perfectly with my pescatarian lifestyle. Pescatarian, <laughs> that sounds fancy. And asking my friends who love meat, HelloFresh has an incredible variety. Tempts me to be a meat eater again. People I know have really recommended their lemon parsley chicken paylard, I think is how you pronounce it, and the fuego chicken fajita tacos. Regardless, HelloFresh menu has something for everyone. But of course, it's not just about the food. It's about saving time too, not having to wait in line at a grocery store, even self-checkouts on fast enough these days. The convenience of having everything delivered pre-portioned right to your door is priceless, especially with their quick and easy meals like 15-minute recipes, spending less time in the kitchen and more time doing what I love, which is filming and editing. So here's the deal. If you want a great way to support the channel and also support, you know, having a new lifestyle, a healthy, affordable lifestyle in the year 2024, go to HelloFresh.com slash rejects free and use code rejects free for free breakfast for life. You heard that right. One breakfast item per box while the subscription is active. Free breakfast for life for HelloFresh.com slash rejects free. Use promo code rejects free. Try it out and let me know your favorite dishes. Stay healthy and let's keep enjoying those movies and shows. All right, Reject Nation, let's get real for a moment. Running this channel is incredible, but managing finances, especially taxes and budgeting, both for the channel and my personal life, can be overwhelming. That's where Rocket Money has been a financial lifesaver for me, even before I ever partnered up with them. Like I said, I've been very fortunate to be working with brands whose products I already use, so it's a win-win for them. Why? But it can be a win-win for you, too, because there's a reason I use them. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that simplifies managing money by canceling unnecessary subscriptions, lowering bills, and crafting a budget that fits your your specific lifestyle. For someone like me who can easily lose track of expenses throughout every single day of the month, it's been eye-opening to see where I was overspending, stuff I don't use that I kept paying for, especially apps. Man, I was way too many apps. Rocket Money does the heavy lifting by analyzing your spending, then customizes notifications to help you stay within your budget goals. It's not just about saving money. It's about actively seeing and feeling your financial progress. It's a great feeling. They track your monthly subscriptions too. So many free trials I've signed up for that I forgot to, you know, get rid of before the free trial was done. Making it super easy to cancel the ones you don't use. A couple of clicks and you're putting money back in your pocket. I'm telling you, have you ever found hidden subscriptions or paid for services you forgot about? Because Rocket Money is a huge asset in helping to uncover those and even negotiate some of my bills down to up to like 20%. So if you're ready to take control of your finances and there's no better time than now because it is the beginning of the year, check out Rocket Money and see how much you could be saving. Stop wasting money on things you do not use. So to help support the channel and help support your wallet, visit rocketmoney.com slash rejects. Rocket Money currently has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year with over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. They've helped me and I'm confident they'll do the same for you. That's rocketmoney.com slash rejects. Your bank account will thank you. Yeah, I thought that was excellent. I, I mean, the, the animation was of course sublime because it's got like this flair of 
retro vintage also like futuristic so it's like throw it's it's this amalgamation of like a bunch of different time periods with goth infused and a bunch of different types of uh, interpretations of hell all infused into one whilst also being nostalgic like you were saying you know Tim Burton Cartoon Network you know like uh, I didn't get Cartoon Network growing up but I watch shows like I'm familiar with the animation like Powerpuff Girls and Kim Possible I watch a lot growing up so I'm you, pretty much Kim Possible today yeah 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 absolutely yeah sure and uh, yeah you said like Dexter's Lab but it has that kind of like energy so you could feel the the inspiration behind it and as well as the passion like this this is like a, an achievement of a passion project because I I was convinced I was watching the first episode from Amazon Prime and I had to I had a little moment where I got pulled up and like no, wait a minute this is still the U- this is the YouTube one this is this I, I I did not expect the YouTube one to feel already like I was watching a show on a streaming channel as popular as like Prime Video and. Yeah, we normally we talk for like so long because we mainly do movie reactions. We're going to keep these short because we got like several of these to go through. But Roxy, what did you? What's your first impressions? I feel very similar to you. I think that it makes perfect sense that this almost has a hundred million views on YouTube. I mean, mm-hmm. what a great, awesome pilot to something that now I'm really curious to see about. They did a great job setting up their characters. It looked really great. It sounded interesting. I like the premise of this. I want to know if. It, it, this is the age old question. Can people really change? Yeah. Um, and we know nobody can change if they don't want to. But as somebody who has spent her whole life changing, I know people can change. And so we're about to see what may or may not be redemption arcs. Not everybody can do it. Some people can. And that concept to me is at the core of this, which is why I'm so interested in it. That's true. Like the the actual setup of what the hotel represents where you got the dueling aspects. I, I, I'm terrible with names. It's gonna take me. I, I probably will remember everyone's name by the names? final. Yeah, I'll probably remember everyone's name by the final episode. Well, there was, there was that one girl whose name you mentioned. Mul- uh, oh, Viagra, Vi- Vagina. <laughs> What's her name? Vag- Vaggy? Va- Vaggy. Vaggy. Yeah, I, I remember my word there. Vaggy. Uh, yeah. Vi- Viagra. Yes. <laughs> so, so confidently. Our main girl, the princess. Yeah. Princess of Hell. Yeah, yeah. Well, Vaggy, uh, trickster. Va- I'm giving them nicknames. Yeah, just uh, whatever uh, one word uh, subject lines we could have about them, just to make it easy to distinguish them. But yeah, I mean, her setup was was interesting because this I, this idea of redemption in hell is is a fascinating one to me. Like I grew up, Judaism doesn't have hell, do they? No, no. Well, Catholicism does. So I grew up with. And so uh, does Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd has hell. I mean, hell is a concept that has exceeded beyond Christianity at this point. Um, but I, what I, I'm curious if there are like actual rules established, or is this just something we go with when you're looking at the anatomy of stuff? That I like the displacement of things, like so much of the hair would go behind the eyeballs, or just like certain designs. Everything always felt like it was off and out of place. Like anatomy was was strangely structured. Yeah, some like some people's legs, one's longer than the other. So there's like hearts in mm-hmm. the eyes, black eyes, like uh, the hair length, yeah. all choppy and stuff. Definitely it looked like some people had had the crap beat out of them before they got sent to hell. And whatever state maybe you die in is the state that you exist in here. Or once you get here, there's wonkiness that takes place and that's just how you live. Yeah, was like the snake sent to hell or did it was it a human that over time it became the embodiment of of serpent like being like this is what their evolution is. So I like that concept. But the concept the eggs. The eggs too, yeah. Were they were they bad eggs that just went to hell? You know? Or were they really evil babies? Were they exact? Oh yeah, we can get really twisted about it. Um, what did that baby do? What did that baby do to deserve to go to hell? Well, the the idea of like re- rehab in hell, it, it, there is like the question of like what is the purpose? Like, is the re what is the rehabilitation gain you? Do you get out? Is it a ticket out of hell? Well, they don't know, and that's one of the cool things that the princess is saying. You know, we have a population issue here, and so she's doing this because everybody's disappearing, and people are just getting wiped out. And so I think she's trying to deal with population control, and her theory seems to be if she can. Re- rehabilitate people then they don't have to be in hell anymore which you would think would either send them back to they maybe would send them to heaven but nobody knows that that's what it will be that's just her theory it would be interesting to see if season one covers that yeah yeah i i do get curious about how some of the if if there are rules at all you know or it's just the wild west down here in the sense of like when people die in in this world of hell 
are they just do they cease to exist forever? Can you actually die already in hell if you're already dead? Like what what happens there? Well, she, they've already mentioned that some people are gone, so clearly either they died or they're just missing. Yeah, so I mean, like, what is the definition of death down here? Because yeah. I, I actually get the impression that some people probably just like roll with it, and other people like ourselves might question it. And because I feel like the show has more in its mind than what is the the surface impression. I mean, it even ends on this this text, which hints at a lot of subtext that the show is is delving into. Because you got a great you got a great character who's very nuanced at the center of it all, and then with all the amount of lore and detail that they put in through like every frame, whether it's like the background or the, the musical numbers, we didn't even talk about that. The musical numbers were amazing because it feels old school, but um, everyone still has their own unique kind of genre or flair to everyone who got a number that fits perfectly attuned to their voice. Like not every song sounded the same. They're all distinguishable. Mm-hmm. I think it's a great pilot. That's like a, that's like a real pilot. I thought this was like just going to be a pitch thing. But this felt like a genuine first episode. Right, right. It's not like, uh, you know, uh, Always Sunny, which you and I love, but Always Sunny, they shot it on iPhone. So for their pilot, they had to reshoot the entire pilot. This is like a full formed, you could have seen this on Amazon pilot. Yeah. Dude, we got to watch the rest. Mm-hmm. You, you, ready, you, you down? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm down. Let's get down with it, Roxy. Down in hell? Yeah, man. I think I would thrive in hell. But that's the thing is like, there's got to be a population that, that wish that. There, there has to be Greg, some people there. Who, what? You can't expect me to sit next to you after you just told me that you would thrive in hell. How about that? I was thrive in hell. I mean, if you're there, you might as well make the most of it. Because there's got to be... You might as well redeem yourself and try to get to heaven, Greg. We're on two different sides of this coin. Well, there's not a guarantee about that. I mean, if you're already there... There's you never to... a guarantee that you get to heaven, but you just try to be the best person you can be. This is why I'm never going to hell, and this is why you are already there. I mean, but if you can, like, steal and kill with no consequences, wouldn't that be fun? That's why we have Grand Theft Auto video games. So you think you can tell... I don't know. I feel like there's a fun... Heaven ver- from hell. The thing about it is everyone here... Blue sky from pain. ...wants <laughs> to stay in hell. <laughs> there's got to be some people who are like, why did I come here? I don't deserve to be here. You know? Some people... Because at this point, it means everyone has accepted why they're here. There's got to be like weak people here who feel like they can get out of hell. Wish you were here. See, we're on the same page. <laughs> I'm vibing with you, man. <laughs> We're vibing right now. Okay. Well, should we vibe on over to episode one? I'm going to keep delaying it. I feel like I've said we're going to end this video like so many times, we but can't. I, I feel like let's just extend this. This is my period. personal hell. All right. You won't let me go to episode one. <laughs> let's go to episode one. See you soon, Reject Nation. 